Good morning, and today's Monday morning. Uh, yesterday I got myself a GoPro, and I'm back in business with this YouTube stuff. Um, kind of fizzled off when I lost my last GoPro, um, and I, I did have other cameras and stuff, but like um, my main camera was the GoPro because because of what I do, it suited me better. So. Um, I've got it with me, ding, ding. and I'm going to try and do as much as I can um, filming today my work. Uh, last time I was doing these kind of things, I couldn't film my work because of the uh, restrictions. I used to work in a, a, a nuclear um, nuclear plant or something like that. Um, Sellafield, anyway. But anyway, I don't. Completely opposite now. I work in the Lake District and I'm a handyman. I do pretty much anything that comes across. Uh, you know, if anyone asks me what I do, it's um, pretty much everything. So anyway, this is hopefully going to be a day in a life with me. Okay, so we're back in the van and um, basically, say day in life, so um, I've uh, dropped the kids off at school, or kind of dropped the kids off school. We go up to their uh, grandma's because they live next to the school. And uh, my wife comes and they, she takes them and I sort of go there for a cup of tea. And then I go off to work. Uh, so this is, um, as a, a self-employed handyman, um, you need some stability um, because jobs can be small. It's not like um, plumbing or uh, you know electrical work or uh, you know as an electrician where you can you can take on big jobs because um, you know you tend to be. Uh, doing smaller ones all the time uh, you do get offered the big jobs but um, I don't think I'm sort of ready for that yet and uh, I'm still doing little small jobs so because of that um, you need some sort of um, almost guaranteed work so I have uh, a contract with a uh, company that's got um, four hotels and a few holiday cottages and three days a week uh, they provide me basically a nine-to-five um, but working for myself so I get the, the benefits of being able to work elsewhere um, and uh, it, it works well um, it means I do get the stability, and they get the, um, you know, they, they know I'm kind of on call for them uh, whenever I need to be, and also, um, you know, they get the three days a week uh, guaranteed work um, from me. Because um, again, if I don't turn up, I don't get paid. It's not like um, I'm employed, and I get to do what I want to do. Um, Pre, you know, previous to this, I used to work. I used to work about 30 miles away. It was like an hour to an hour and a half drive um, there, and an hour and a half back. And um, it takes its toll. I was there for 12, 11 years, and um, I commuted that distance for a good 10 of them years. And. Uh, yeah, it's it's a lot nicer being able to um, drive to work five minutes or ten minutes usually. Um, it will get busier in the tourist time. I will show you um, my commute to work, but basically it's in the Lake District. It's a lovely part of the world, and uh, it's great. It's nice being. Um, 
at the minute there's snow on the tops and the mountains are looking fabulous actually because it's just clearing. It's cold outside, it's four degrees and I've got a bit of outside work which tends to be the case. Um, you know when there's a bit of horrible weather I'm stuck outside but I don't mind you know as long as you wrap up warm and get your decent waterproofs on it's good work. So this is kind of a, a second intro to the uh, third, but again it is part of my life, this is my commute to work. And um, yeah, so what I'll be doing is I'll go in, check at their sort of main um, office, see what work needs done over the weekend, um, if there's any priorities, I've got long running projects. Also, uh, you know, bits and pieces that always need done. Uh, so we'll go in, prioritise the jobs, and uh, see what happens with my day. Right. So um, just uh, got my list of jobs. Um, so the priorities today um, for a handyman of my calibre is. Um, Unblocking a toilet, fixing a broken bed, and um, that's really it. Oh, there's a washing machine that's unblocked. Um, so they're the priorities, and then uh, I've got to do some work fitting some static caravans together. So uh, this is. Um, the first shot on the GoPro anyway, so uh, yeah, the intro there would have been done on my phone um, just because I was driving and I've got nothing to mount the GoPro at the minute. So um, we'll see how it goes. Well, to spare you the details, the toilet was blocked, it's now unblocked. Um, sometimes that's uh, part of my work. Um, it's always a necessity to uh, have a toilet uh, unblocked and always have one of these. I'm not sure what the darkness is like in this van. Um, it's quite dark at the moment, but that's, yep, yeah, that's one job done. Right, so where I'm going now is just down Thelmia. Thelmia into Grasmere. Um, so these are the kind of roads that I'm now driving, which they used to be um, sort of main roads, but now I'm on back roads. Um, not entirely sure what it's going to look like. Like I say, I've just jerry rigged a mount um, and uh, yeah, you can probably make out. Sat nav, I'm on the 591 A591, uh, just driving up. Um, funnily enough, my last video was um, about floods and stuff. Um, as we're coming up here, um, this road had completely collapsed on the floods. Uh, I think it's at this point now. Yeah, yeah, it's that point. That, see where that road, that um, wall was built up, that's where the collapse was. And, um, it knocked down, it was quite an important uh, thing that, because this road is kind of the uh, the main road into the lakes, the main sort of, uh, from the north to the south, and it would kind of split the north to the south lakes, and this is kind of a main road. So, um, yeah, what would, what's happening there, where we're at now is just coming over Dunmill Rays, uh, we've got a big descent into Grasmere. This is a good little um, cycle uh, climb. This is uh, it's a big old uh, climb. You know, it's not as steep as quite a lot of them, and it's not like a normal pass. It's quite straight. Um, a lot of them are, are windy. Yeah, this is coming down into Grasmere now. I'll see if I can get a video of what I'm doing next. I'm fixing a bed, um, so I'm not entirely sure 
how much it is. Uh, again, it's getting used to the format, trying to get some sort of format. I'll probably have no intro for this at the moment. Um, so I'll just try and get some kind of format. Right, so we're in uh, one of the hotel rooms and uh, let me just see. Yeah. So yeah, we're in one of the hotel rooms and uh, what I'm looking at now is just the bed. <coughs> right, so it looks like these slots have um, bent a little bit. So we'll have a quick look underneath. Yeah. Okay, they both look fine. It was reported that these were broken, but you, you never know. So what I've decided to do here is um, I've taken measurements with my handy little tape measure and I've written down some notes um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace these bed slats with some stronger wood. Um, being a hotel, you get um, kids jumping on beds and all sorts of stuff. So uh, I'm going to try and sort of get a thicker piece of wood underneath to replace the slats. And um, hopefully that will be good enough. Okay, so I'm just going down the corridor and quiet because there's people in. Well, I'm here. I'm just gonna look at problem hello so uh, I keep saying hello but you'll probably just it'll be like a split second uh, I'll put a fade in or something um, so what you see now is me going into uh, a second room um, people were in there so obviously you can't film that's gonna be um, the problem uh, for me until I get used to it, some sort of format, playing around with GoPros, um, I've got like this kind of tripod, um, I've got a little clip-on thing and um, all sorts of GoPro mounts from my last one. The good thing about GoPros is they didn't change what how it's clamped, um, so you can get thousands of different types of mounts like dog mounts and stuff like that I say dog mounts as in uh, it's like this harness that you can put on a dog's back and uh, yeah it's quite it's quite interesting how it uh, how it's all developed um, so right I'm uh, now heading back to uh, the other hotel where the toilet was blocked um, and what I'm doing now is I'm building up some staff accommodation, um, getting ready for the summer when there'll be more staff arriving. At the moment, it's still winter time and it's still quiet. Um, we're coming up to Easter now, so it will start getting busier again. Um, so um, what it is is I've got some static caravans in, and uh, they need plumbed in basically. Um, I've done most of the pipe work already and uh, this is where the GoPro will help in filming because uh, one of its size and two it's waterproof so you don't have to worry about it getting wet um, as you do with other cameras so uh, I'll have to try and sort of figure out how I'm going to uh, film it because it's not much space under there um, it's probably not the nicest plumbing job in the world because it's outside underneath a caravan uh, winter time it's six degrees out there at the minute um, it was raining quite a lot but now it's dry so I'm going to try and uh, bash on now because I've got the pipes in I just need to get solvent weld put on so you need to sort of glue the pipes all up together um, and hopefully it all is all sealed and all works um, 
like I said, the, the pipes are all in and fitted, um, dry fitted, so no glue on them. And I literally just have to glue it all together and then that's the pipes in. Uh, and then uh, the electrics uh, need plugged in basically. Um, Source, uh, these caravans have got gas and uh, I don't do anything with gas, I'm not gas registered. Uh, so we're going to have to get a, a separate guy in for that and uh, he can sign them off uh, or condemn them, whatever. And uh, we shall see how that goes. So at the moment I'm just wiring in these, plumbing in these um, uh, waste pipes and this is my life for the next two or three hours, just stuck under here. Right, so uh, I've come to the end of the day. Uh, I've uh, plumbed in all the uh, the static caravans and um, that's probably about it um, just having some orange juice and uh, what I haven't shown you guys is where, where I'm actually at at the moment you can see it's uh, what I'll do is I'll just walk over here and show you not a bad office view eh what it'll be like on the GoPro, but uh, it's uh, quite nice working out outdoors when the weather's nice. It, isn't, it hasn't been too bad today, and um, I've got on with quite a bit as well. So, um, right, this is probably the last video of the day. Oh, I've just got a call in at uh, the last hotel and uh, sort of drop off all my job sheets and stuff and then that's it back home to edit this bye